I was on vacation in a hot place one time, and I was drinking beer by the pool. Since it was hot, I ordered a cup of ice with my beer. Everybody looked at me like I was an idiot or a leper until they started drinking their warm beer. Then everybody wanted a cup of ice. Now I'm an idiot like Hodor in Game of Thrones or the leper with the boat in the movie Papillon. You see, there was a time and a place for everything. And today, on Poor Choice, where we drink the worst alcohol on the planet, it is the time and the place for ice beer. Now, ice beer is not beer with ice in it. It's made by freezing the beer just enough to form ice crystals. You remove the ice crystals, which are water, and it elevates the alcohol content of the beer. What's amazing is... This process originated in Germany because, in my mind, freezing your beer to make it stronger has frat house science project written all over it. The German version of ice beer is about 15% alcohol. The American version is 6%. 6% because they add water to it. Congratulations, egghead. You just made decaf espresso. Why bother at all? Are you trying to keep me busy while you can organize a surprise party? Ice beer has a higher alcohol by volume percentage, making it the original hold my beer beer. A positive drinking ice beer was the reason that the X Games were invented. Ice beer gets you just drunk enough to attempt to jump on a ride in lawnmower, but not drunk enough to go to the emergency room. While ice beer may not be one of the top sellers, it is the most popular beer for guys that give themselves nicknames. And it's the number one thing people can be seen holding in police body cam footage. Now, even though it says ice beer, you don't put a bottle of beer in the freezer. You know why? Because nobody in the history of anything knows how long that takes. You're always going to guess wrong. Or even more likely, forget about it. And when you come back, the beer has exploded and the freezer looks like the inside of Kennedy's limo. The idea of a high-powered beer is a funny one to me. Is it really that more advanced than regular beer? It's like being the first guy to shave in junior high school because you were held back a couple of times. The difference between a 5% beer and a 6% beer is the same as the difference between an inch and a half and one and a half inches. There isn't one. Now, I'm going to be pouring this into a glass because the last time we did a beer episode with the readers, one of the regular viewers was questioning if I was really drinking it. I said, yeah, I drank it, then I had three more, and then I shit and that's quick for five hours. To which another viewer asked if it was chocolate or strawberry. I said, well, it was chocolate at first. Oh, God, fuck me. Oh, fuck. It's like sharing a garden hose with Nicolas Cage. The only thing that would make this worse is a pop-up bath. I think I would enjoy this more if I wore my keys on the outside of my pants. <laughs> So what have we learned here on the Poor Choice program today? Anytime you freeze something you're not supposed to, there's been a crime committed, assets, a body, in this case, beer. Ice beer is just booze for people on a fixed income from a bogus disability settlement. If you want something stronger than beer, don't drink beer. Even if you don't have a lot of money, there are options out there. Witch Hazel, Baby Wipes, Cologne. And if you really want to drink something out of the icebox, there's still no substitute for antifreeze. <laughs>